Hey guys, welcome back to Chinese Zero to Hero. The following video you're going to watch is a lesson from our new Chinese course, Phonetics with Chinese Characteristics. We believe that before advancing to higher levels, the sooner you work on your pronunciation, the better off you'll be. For a limited time only, this course is completely free. Click the link below to enroll or check out our courses page on our website at ChineseZeroToHero.com. Now let's take a look at a phenomenon that's related to the R sound. First, here are some common HSK1 words that you probably are familiar with. The first one is na, meaning there. The second is na, with a third tone, na, meaning where. And the third is zhe, meaning here. And finally, we have yi dian, yi dian, meaning a little bit. Oftentimes, especially in mainland China, especially in the north, we tend to attach an R at the end of the word to give it an R ending. And if you want to write the R ending in Chinese characters, you can use the character R as it's written in red here. In pinyin, we simply attach the letter R at the end. So the word there, na, becomes nar, nar. We add an R at the end of its pinyin, and uh, for characters, we add the character R. So we write na, R, but really it's pronounced like nar, nar. And the word for where, na, becomes nar. The word for here, zhe, becomes zhe, zhe. And the word for a little bit becomes yi diar, yi diar. This phenomenon is known as R Hua. The character Hua means to become something, to add a characteristic or feature of something. Because we're adding an R here, so it's R-ified, and that's what R Hua means. So Na with R Hua is Nar. Na with R Hua is Nar. Zhe with R Hua is Zhe. And Yi Dian with R Hua is Yi Diar. If you have a very keen ear, you probably have noticed that when I say yi diar, the n went away, right? Yi diar is not yi dianar, it's yi diar, the n kind of went away. The rules of pronouncing arhua is quite complex. We suggest that you simply learn these words individually when they come up. And here are some more examples. The word for little kid is xiao hai, xiao hai. With R Hua becomes Xiao Har. Xiao Har. Notice that the I went away, right? Xiao Har. It's not Xiao Hair, it's Xiao Har. The word for little bird is Xiao Niao. Xiao Niao. And with R Hua, it becomes Xiao Niao. Xiao Niao. Xiao Niao. The word for restaurant is Fan Guan. Fan Guan. With R Hua, it becomes Fan Guar. Notice the N went away. Fan Guar. The word for perfume is Xiang Shui. Xiang Shui. With R Hua, it becomes Xiang Shuar. Xiang Shuar. Notice that Wei with R Hua becomes Wer. Wer. Xiang Shuar. Xiang Shuar. The rules involving R Hua is actually very complex. So I would think it's not that useful to learn all the rules. It's better to just learn these words individually as they come up so that uh, you will eventually discern a set of rules. For example, if you see the word xiang shuo, just know that it's pronounced xiang shuo, xiang shuo. This way you can spare yourself the pain of learning a long list of rules surrounding arhua. By the way, uh, the word for daughter is nu er. Although the word ends with R, is this a case of R Hua? This is not R Hua. And why do we say that? Well, it's because the character R here actually has some meaning. The word R literally means uh, child, right? So new R is a female child or a daughter. So R here is not simply representing a sound, it's actually um, it's actually representing a uh, concrete meaning. So nu R is female child or daughter. So this is not R Hua. 
That's why it's not nuer, right? It's not uh, it's not just simply nu with an r. It's nu r. You need to pronounce these two characters individually. Nu r, nu r. They do not mix. All right, and now it's time for some practice. Here are some sentences that have a lot of r hua in there, and let's see if you can say them correctly. Just follow along. 小孩和小鸟在哪儿呢？小孩和小鸟在那儿呢。Again, 小孩和小鸟在哪儿呢？小孩和小鸟在那儿呢。Very good. And one more time, 小孩儿和小鸟在哪儿呢？小孩儿和小鸟在这儿呢。Very good. And finally, try this: 小孩儿和小鸟在哪儿呢？小孩儿和小鸟在饭馆呢。Awesome. So that's it. That's everything for the R sound and R hua. For more information, especially for the rules involving R hua, see the description of the video for more resources.